Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today, the Cubs kick off a five-game road trip that will lead us right up to the All-Star break. However, this road trip does not involve a flight or a drive anywhere, but rather just a trip down the red line to see the White Sox play in the Great on the south side of Chicago. Today's game is going to feature a starting pitcher matchup of Jose Quintana for the Cubs, making start number 19. He is 7 and 6 with a 339 ERA, 126 whip. Against the White Sox, Kyle Kubat. He is making appearance number 7, coming in at 3 and 1 with a 481 ERA, 128 whip. The Cubs lineup today is going to feature Bogarts, Ozuna, Bryant back at third, Contreras, Hap over at second, Santana at first, Tauschman DHing today, Bradley, and then Hayward. So the White Sox are then going to put out a lineup that will include Moncada, Abreu, Eloy Jimenez who was actually traded for Quintana. It's interesting that these two are facing off with each other. Luis Robert, Grandal, Kendrick, Nomar Mazzara, Tim Anderson, and Danny Mendick is the second baseman. It is 75 degrees today, the wind blowing right to left at 11 MPH. And now it is time to get this game underway. The White Sox, Kyle Kubat, is on the mound. He is facing off against the Cubs' Xander Bogart here in the top of the first inning. The Cubs come in with a record of 44-47, and 47, third place in the NL Central. The White Sox coming in at 51-40, and 40, third place in the AL Central, but chasing the Twins, who are just running away with that division right now. Kyle Kubat on the mound with a 1-2 and two count, looking for the sign, and here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. So that's going to send Bogarts back to the dugout. And next up will be Ozuna. One out, nobody on. Two and one count to Marcel Ozuna. Here's the pitch. Ozuna pops it up on the infield. That's going to be playable near second base, and it'll be caught for out number two. Chris Bryant now the batter. Hero of the last game, hitting that pinch hit home run. Waiting for the first pitch. And he crushes that one to left field. That's going to be one hop to the wall. Bryant just hit a frozen rope out there. He slides into second with a two-out double. So Bryant standing on second, and that will bring up Wilson Contreras in a scoreless game in the top of the first inning. One and two count, and Contreras pops it up to left. This will be playable, and it is caught for out number three. Well, the Cubs get a base runner, but he is stranded. We go to the bottom of the first. It is a 0-0 ball game. Quintana on the mound facing his former team. He is going to face the White Sox leadoff hitter, Yohan Moncada, who has 19 home runs on the season. 323 batting average. Quintana looking for the sign. Here's the pitch. That's a liner into left field that's going to drop in for a base hit. Leadoff single for Moncada here in the bottom of the first inning. He has a hit in 15 straight games now. Abreu now the batter. Nobody out. Runner on first. Three and one count. Abreu waiting for the pitch. That is low. It is ball four. And Quintana getting himself into a jam here in the top, the bottom of the first inning. First and second. Nobody out. And Eloy Jimenez, who has 34 home runs on the season, steps up to bat. 349 batting average. 68 RBIs. He has just been a monster in the White Sox lineup this year. 3-1 and one count from Quintana. Here's the pitch. Liner up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. The runner is going to round third. He is going to head home. The throw comes home. And he is safe. The White Sox have taken a 1-0 lead in the bottom of the first inning on the Jimenez 
RBI single, and he now has a 21-game hitting streak. Luis Robert now the batter. Nobody out. Still runners on first and second. Quintana trying to navigate the first inning. That's popped up to left. Ozuna heading toward the left field line makes the catch for out number one. Grandal now is the batter. He's coming up with one out, runners on first and second. Quintana working with a three and one count. Here is the pitch. That is up and in for ball four. Quintana issues the walk and the bases are now loaded. That's two walks in the inning for Quintana. And now Howie Kendrick is the batter. One out, bases loaded. White Sox already have a one nothing lead. Trying to add to it. One strike count, here's the pitch. Liner into center field, that'll be playable. It is caught, the throw comes home, the runner comes home, and he is safe. Abreu slides in safely. That is the second run of the inning for the White Sox. They now own a two nothing lead. However, the out is recorded on the sacrifice fly, and Mazzara will be the next batter. He comes out with two outs, two men on, and a one ball count from Quintana. There's a grounder to first. Santana has it. He steps on the base and that will end the inning. The White Sox get two hits and two runs and two walks in the bottom of the first inning. We go to the top of the second. It is two nothing Chicago. Ian Happ now the batter. He is gonna stand in against Kubat in the top of the second leading off for the Cubs. One ball count, Happ waiting for the pitch. And Hap lines that one into left field. That's going to drop in for a leadoff single for Ian Hap. So the Cubs trying to come back here in the second innings. Hap is on first. Santana is the batter. 2-2 two -two count. Kubat with the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Santana is struck out. Second strikeout of the game for Kubat. And Tauschman is the batter. One out, one man on. Tauschman waiting for the 0-1 pitch. Grounder to second. The throw goes to short. The relay to first. And that is a ground ball double play to end the inning. So we go to the bottom of the second inning. It is a 2-0 White Sox lead. Anderson is going to lead off to the Sox. He is going to face a 1-1 count with Jose Quintana on the mound. There's a grounder to short. Bogarts has it, but he does not make the throw. He might have lost control of that on the transfer. Anderson is credited with an infield single, and the White Sox have the leadoff man on in the bottom of the second inning. Mendick now is the batter. He comes up with nobody out, a one and two count. And that's lined into right. That'll be playable. Hayward has it for out number one. Moncada now coming up as the White Sox have batted around with one out in the second inning. Moncada facing a one and two count with Quintana. And that is strike three called on the outer half of the plate. Nice pitch by Quintana. Fastball gets him looking. And now Abreu is the batter with two outs and one man on. Abreu waiting for the first pitch. Grounder to short. The throw goes to second, but no relay is required. That is the third out of the inning. So the White Sox get a runner, but he is stranded. We go to the top of the third. It is a two nothing. White Sox lead. Jackie Bradley leading off for the Cubs in the top of the third. One strike pitch from Kubat. Here it comes. And Bradley lines that one down the right field line past a diving Abreu down into the corner. He is going to round first, heading for second. He will have a double to lead off the Cubs half of the third. The Cubs have had base runners in this game. They've really got to figure out how to cash in on these opportunities. Jason Hayward now coming up. He is batting in the top of the third inning with nobody out, runner in scoring position. Cubs trying to cut into this 2-0 White Sox lead. Here's a one ball count to Hayward. And that is a crushed ball out to right field all the way out to the bullpen. And Hayward has just tied up this game at two. 428 feet to straightaway right field. And good, nice piece of hitting right there by Jason Hayward to turn on that fastball and tie up the game. So, brand new ball game now. Xander Bogart's the batter. 2-2 tie in the top of the third inning.
one one count to Bogarts. And he hits one to left field. That is going to clear the fence. That is back-to-back -back home runs for the Cubs. Xander Bogarts has just put the Cubs up 3-2 to two on a solo home run in the top of the third. 386 feet to left field. Marcelo Zuna coming up now. Top of the third inning. Cubs crowd owners of a brand new 3-2 lead. Ozuna waiting for a 1-2 pitch. And he hits one to left field. That's going to be warning track distance, though. Man, he was about 15 feet away from hitting a third consecutive home run. However, Jimenez makes the catch. That is out number one in the top of the third. And Chris Bryant is the next batter. One out, nobody on. 0-2 pitch to Bryant. And Bryant lines that one over the shortstop's head into the gap in left center field. That is going to be a base hit for Bryant as he stops at first with a single. Contreras now the batter, one out, one man on. Cubs trying to build on this three to two lead. Here's a one and two pitch to Contreras. Swing and a miss for strike three. Kubat gets the second out of the inning, punching out Contreras with a fastball. Three strikeouts on the day for Kubat, and now Ian Happ is the batter. Two outs, one and two count. Here's the pitch to Happ. That's a liner into right field. That's gonna drop in no man's land. A little too deep for the second baseman and too shallow for the right fielder. So Hap has a single with two outs. Bryant advances all the way over to third. And the Cubs send Danny Santana up with runners on the corners and two outs. One strike pitch to Santana. That's a liner into center field. That's another base hit. Bryant's going to come home to score. The runner stops at second. Santana has an RBI single, and the Cubs are now up 4-2. to two. Big rally here for the Cubs in the top of the third inning. Leading to a 4-2 lead. And now Mike Tauschman is the batter. Two outs, two men on. One and two count to Tauschman. Swing and a miss for strike three. Tauschman is chased back to the dugout with the changeup. However, the Cubs score four times in the top of the third inning and take a 4-2 lead over the White Sox. Eloy Jimenez is going to be the leadoff hitter against Quintana in the White Sox half of the third inning. One and two count from Quintana. Here is the pitch. And that's popped up to center. Bradley shading slightly over toward left center, makes the catch, puts it away for out number one. Bogarts now, the, or excuse me, Roberts is the batter. Luis Roberts is batting for the White Sox. In the bottom of the third inning, one out, nobody on. 2-2 two, two count, Quintana with the pitch. Grounder to second. Oh, and Quintana actually gets off the mound and makes the play. He throws to first and throws out the runner, Robert, for out number two. Grandal now is the batter. Two outs, nobody on. 2-2 two, two count, Quintana working. Liner up the middle, that's past Bogarts into center field. That's going to be a one-out single for Yasmani Grandal. And now Howie Kendrick is the batter. Two outs, one man on. Quintana working with a 2-2 two -two count. Here it comes. That's a liner into right field. Hayward's gonna let that one drop. It's gonna be another base hit. The runner's gonna advance from first all the way to third. That's Grandal. As Hayward tosses it back into the cutoff man. And now Nomar Mazzara is the batter. Two outs, runners on the corners. White Sox continuing to threaten in this game. Man, they do really have a good offense. You look at the number of players in their lineup that are that have at least 10 home runs. It's a little bit threatening, I'm not going to lie. So Mazzara, with 15 home runs and a 291 average on the season, comes up. With two outs, runners on the corners. Quintana trying to work his way out of the third inning. One ball count. And that's popped up to right. It's going to be playable. Hayward heads toward the line. And he makes the catch for out number three. So the White Sox threaten. They do not score. Stranding two. We go to the top of the fourth. It is a 4-2 to two Cubs lead. Jackie Bradley leading off against Kyle Kubat. He is one for one today. Top of the fourth inning. Full count. Payoff pitch from Kubat. And that's a liner up the middle. He hit that one past the shift into center field for a single. Nice piece of hitting right there by Jackie Bradley, and now Jason Hayward is the batter. He is one for two with a home run today. 
Hayward batting with a runner on first. Nobody out. 1-1 one, one count. Waiting for the pitch. Hayward lines that one in the gap in left center field. That's going to be extra bases for Hayward as it goes all the way to the wall. The runner rounds third. Nope, he stops at third. He gets the stop sign and he holds up. So Hayward has a double. Bradley advances to third. And now we have second and third and nobody out in the top of the fourth inning. Xander Bogarts now is the batter. First pitch from Kubat. Bogarts waiting. Here it comes. That's a ground ball to short. The throw goes to first, and Bogarts is retired on the fielder's choice. However, Bradley comes home to score as the shortstop didn't pay any attention to him. Infield was playing back, so not really any opportunity to throw him out at home. The Cubs now own a 5-2 lead. Marcelo Zuna is the batter, and the Cubs have chased Kyle Kubat from this game. The new relief pitcher for the White Sox is going to be Adalberto Mejia. He has thrown 47 and two-thirds this year of 21 walk, 49 strikeout baseball with a 434 ERA. Mejia will face Ozuna with Hayward on second and one out, Cubs leading 5-2 in the top of the fourth inning. Here's a 1-1 pitch from Mejia. And that's a grounder down the left field line. The third baseman has it, and he makes the play. Throws to first, and that is out number two. Moncada, is, or it's, Moncada throws to Kendrick to record the out. Ozuna's retired. Hayward is not able to advance, and now Chris Bryant is the batter. He is two for two today. Two outs, runner on second. Two, two count to Bryant. That's a ground ball to third. The throw goes to first, and Bryant is retired for the third out of the inning. The Cubs score again. They now have a 5-2 lead going into the bottom of the fourth inning. Tim Anderson leading off for the White Sox, bottom of the fourth. Quintana with 58 pitches coming out to work. One ball count from Quintana. Here's the pitch, and there's a bunt. The pitcher recovers and fields, throws to first, but Anderson, with a burst of speed, beats it out, and he has an infield single. The Cubs' defense was definitely caught sleeping on that one. And now Mendick is the batter. With nobody out, runner on first, one ball count from Quintana. Here's the pitch. Grounder to third, Bryant has it. Throws to first, and the throw is late. Bryant is not able to get the ball to first on time. Mendick has another infield single. And now the White Sox suddenly have first and second. Nobody out in the top of the order coming up. Moncada is going to bat from the right side against the lefty Quintana. He is one for two today. Here's a two-strike pitch to Moncada. Strike three called on the outside corner of the plate. So Moncada is sent back to the dugout on a called strike three, and Abreu is the batter. Abreu comes up, one out, two men on. Cubs leading 5-2. Here's a 2-2 two -two pitch to Abreu. There's a grounder to second. Half to Bogarts, to Santana, 4-6-3 double play, and that is exactly what the Cubs needed to get out of that situation. So we go to the top of the fifth inning now. It is 5-2 Chicago. I suppose I should specify Chicago Cubs. Contreras now is the batter, top of the fifth inning. He is leading off for the Cubs against the White Sox reliever Mejia, who's going to continue to pitch here. First pitch to Contreras, here it comes. Grounder to third, Mancata has it, throws to first, and that is out number one. Hap now the batter, one out, nobody on, one one count. Hap waiting for the pitch. That's line to left field. Eloy Jimenez heads toward the line and he makes the play for out number two. Santana now the batter, two outs, nobody on, one and two count. Santana waiting for the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Santana is set down. The Cubs are retired in order. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It is still 5-2 Cubs. Jimenez leading off for the White Sox in the bottom half of the fifth inning against Quintana. One and two count, Quintana working. That's a floater, short left field. The shortstop Bogarts actually hands over and makes the catch for out number one. Luis Robert now the batter, one out, nobody on. 
One and two count. Here's the pitch. Popped up to left center. This time Ozuna heads over. He's going to call off Bradley and make the catch for out number two. Grandal now the batter. Two outs. Nobody on. Quintana working with a one ball count. And there's a pop up to right center field. Hayward and Bradley converge. Hayward is called off and Bradley makes the catch for out number three. So the White Sox are retired in order. This might be the first time in this game that that happened. We go to the top of the sixth inning of a 5-2 Cub lead. Tauschman leading off for the Cubs against Mejia, coming out for his third inning of work in the top of the sixth inning. 2-2 two -two count, Mejia with the pitch. That is driven out to center field. That is over the center fielder's head. That's going to be extra bases for Mike Tauschman. He slides into second with a leadoff double, and the Cubs have a runner in scoring position with nobody out in the top of the sixth inning. Bradley now is the batter. He comes up to face Mejia with a three and one count. And he lines that one into right field, but that's gonna be playable. It's gonna be caught for out number one. It was well hit, but right at Mazzara. So Hayward now is the batter. One out, one man on. Here's the pitch. The runner is going, he slides. And Tauschman is out at third base on the steal attempt. Grandal has thrown out 22 base runners this year. And Hayward now batting with two outs, nobody on. One ball count to Hayward. Here is the pitch. Hayward hits that one down the first base line. It is fielded. Kendrick steps on the base, and that is out number three. So the Cubs get a base, get a base hit, but do not score. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It is 5-2 Cubs. Howie Kendrick leading off for the White Sox. Bottom of the sixth inning. Quintana on the mound with 82 pitches under his belt. Here's a 2-2 count. Quintana with the pitch. That is popped up to center. Bradley is going to have a play. And he puts it away for out number one. Mazzara now the batter. One out. Nobody on. One and two count to Nomar Mazzara. Here's the pitch. Grounder to second, half has it. Throws to first, and that is out number two. Anderson now the batter. Two outs, nobody on. Quintana working with one strike count. Here is the pitch. Grounder to third, Bryant has it. Scoops it up, but he does not throw. He just hangs on to it as Anderson who is very speedy, I believe has just beaten out his second infield hit of this game. So Mendick now batting, two outs, one man on. White Sox trailing by three. Here's a three and one pitch from Quintana. There's a grounder to short. Bogarts has it. Throws to half covering second and that'll end the inning. So the White Sox get a base runner, but he is stranded. We go to the top of the seventh. It is a five to two game. Bogarts leading off four the Cubs in the top of the seventh inning. 2-2 two, two count, Bogarts waiting for the pitch. That's a grounder to third. The throw goes to first, and that is out number one. Mejia now working to Ozuna with one out, nobody on base. One and one count, Ozuna waiting for the pitch. He is 0 for three today. That is popped up to left. That's gonna be playable, and it is caught by Jimenez for out number two. Chris Bryant now the batter. Two outs, nobody on. 2-2 two, two count to Chris Bryant. Here is the pitch. And that's lined down the left field line. That is going to drop in for a base hit. Bryant has a two-out single. And he is going to bring up Contreras. And also, that chases Mejia. Carson Fulmer is going to be the new pitcher for the White Sox. He's going to come up 38 innings thrown. 13 walks, 40 strikeouts, 379 ERA. He is trying to keep the Cubs from scoring in this top of the seventh inning. There is a runner on first and two outs. Wilson Contreras is the batter. 2-2 two, two count. Contreras waiting for the pitch. And that is crushed. He tattooed that ball left center field. And that is a two-run shot off the bat of Wilson Contreras. 423 feet, the Cubs now lead 7-2. Man, it feels good to get some runs after the dearth of scoring on that homestand. 
The Cubs now have a 7-2 lead, and Ian Happ is the next batter. Two outs, nobody on. 2-2 two, two count to Ian Happ. Here is the pitch. And that's lined into right field. That is going to drop in for another base hit. Happ is going to have a two-out single. And that'll bring up Danny Santana. Santana will bat from the right, the left side against the righty Fulmer with two outs and one man on in the top of the seventh inning. Full count pitch from Fulmer. Here it comes. That's a liner up the middle. That's another base hit. Happ rounding second. He's heading for third. Santana has a two-out single. And now the runners are on the corners with two outs, and Tauschman is the batter. The White Sox are going to bring in another reliever. This is going to be Kelvin Herrera. He's coming in with 35 and two-thirds innings thrown, 20 walks, 26 strikeouts, and a 278 ERA. Herrera will face the lefty Tauschman with two outs, runners on the corners in the top of the seventh inning. Here is the first pitch to Tauschman from Herrera, looking for the sign. And here it comes. That's a line drive up the middle. Another base hit. Happ is going to come around to score. The throw goes to third. The runner goes to third. He is safe as Santana goes first to third on that base hit. Tauschman credited with an RBI single. The Cubs are now ahead 8-2. to two. Jackie Bradley now the batter. Two outs. Runner still on the corners. Top of the seventh inning. And here's the pitch. There's a steal attempt. The throw goes down to second. And Tauschman has steal number five on the season. So the Cubs, second and third, two outs, six-run lead here in the top of the seventh inning. Jackie Bradley is the batter. One, one count. Here's the pitch. And that's hit hard to right center field. It might be, it could be, it is gone! Jackie Bradley has hit a three-run home run, 420 feet out to right center field. The Cubs are up 11-2. to two. Man, that feels good. The Cubs have a six-run outburst in the top of the seventh inning and are really looking to put this game away. So Jason Hayward is now the batter. Two outs, nobody on. A lot of this damage has been done with two outs in the top of the seventh inning. Here's an 0-2 count to Hayward. Hayward swings and misses for strike three to end the inning. So Herrera notches the strikeout after the Cubs score six times. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It is 11 to two Cubs. Jonathan Loiza is gonna come in to pitch for the Cubs in the bottom of the seventh inning. He is gonna face Moncada, Abreu, and Jimenez in the White Sox lineup. You know, Loiza, if he throws all three innings to record this save, or finish this game out, could actually record the save. So Loiza with a 2-2 count, and here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Loiza sends him back to the dugout. That is strikeout number 100 on the season for Moncada. Abreu now the batter. One out, 3-0 count from Loiza. Here's the pitch. That is up and away for ball four. Abreu draws his 21st walk of the season, and now we're going to see a pinch hitter. This is going to be Adam Engel. Coming up to bat for the White Sox against the righty Loiza here in the bottom of the seventh inning. One and two count, Loiza working. Swing and a miss for strike three. Loiza gets the strikeout for out number two. And Luis Robert is the batter. Two outs, one man on. Two, two count. Here's the pitch. Grounder to second. Hap has it, throws to first. And that will retire the side. So the White Sox get a runner, but he is stranded. We go to the top of the eighth. It is an 11-2 Cub lead. Xander Bogart's now the batter. He comes up to lead off the Cubs' half of the eighth. One and two count. And that's a liner into center field. That's going to be a base hit. Bogart's has a single to lead off the top of the eighth inning. 18 hits on the, cut on the day for the Cubs. And now Marcel Ozuna comes up. He is over four today. Two and one count to Ozuna. And there's a pop-up to center. That's going to be playable. It's going to be caught for out number one. Herrera now working to Chris Bryant with one out, one man on, and a one ball count. Bryant lines that one in the left field. That's going to be a base hit. The runner had to hold up. He didn't know if it was going to be caught or not, but it dropped out there in front of the left fielder. So Bogarts advances to second. Bryant is on first. One out, and Contreras is the batter. 
He is one for four with a home run hit his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to Contreras. That's a liner into center field. That's gonna be another base hit. The runner is gonna stop at third base. Brian advances to second. Contreras hits a single to load the bases with one out and bring up Ian Happ in the top of the eighth inning. Ian Happ with an 0-2 count waiting for the pitch. Check swing, strike three. Happ is sent back to the dugout. That's strikeout number two for Herrera and the second out of the top of the eighth inning. Danny Santana now the batter. Two outs, bases loaded. Cubs looking to add to this nine-run lead, and here's a one-strike pitch to Santana. That's going to be popped up to left. I believe it'll be playable. Jimenez ranges over and makes the catch for out number three. So we go to the bottom of the eighth. It is an 11-2 Cub lead. Loiza continuing to work. He's going to face Grundahl to lead off the White Sox half of the eighth inning. Here's a one ball count from Loiza, and that is smoked out into right field, but right at Hayward, and he makes the catch for out number one. Grundahl hit that one right on the screws, but ultimately he was retired for the first out of the inning. Kendrick now the batter. One and two count, and there's a swing and a miss for strike three. So Kendrick is retired for the second out of the inning. And Nomar Mazzara is the next batter. Two outs, nobody on. One and two count to Mazzara. Swing and a miss for strike three. And Loiza retires the order inside, the, retires the side in order in the bottom of the eighth. We go to the top of the ninth. It is a nine run Cub lead. Alec Colomb is going to be the new White Sox pitcher in the top of the ninth. He comes in with 29 innings thrown, 9 walks, 35 strikeouts, 4.34 ERA. He will face Tauschman, Bradley, and Hayward in the top of the ninth inning. Colom working with an 0-2 count, looking for the sign. And here's the pitch. There's a swing and a miss for strike three, and Tauschman is sent packing as that is out number one in the top of the ninth. Bradley now batting. Three and one count. One out. Nobody on. Bradley waiting for the pitch. Outside for ball four. Bradley draws the walk. And Hayward is the next batter. With one out, one man on. First pitch to Jason Hayward. That is popped up to right. It's going to be playable in short right field by the second baseman, Mendick. And he grabs it for out number two. Xander Bogart's now the batter. Two outs, one man on. Top of the ninth inning. Here's a one and one pitch to Xander Bogart's. And that is lined into the gap in right center field. That's going all the way to the wall. Extra bases for Xander Bogart's as he heads into second. The runner stops at third. And the Cubs now have second and third and two outs in the top of the ninth inning. 20 doubles on the season for Xander Bogart's. And Ozuna is the batter. He is 0 for 5 today. Tough day for Marcelo Ozuna. 0-2 count. Ozuna waiting for the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. And Ozuna is set back to the dugout with the cutter. So the Cubs threaten in the top of the ninth, but they do not score. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. It is an 11-2 Cub lead. And Sadler is going to be the new pitcher for the Cubs. He is going to work the ninth inning facing the eight, nine, and one batters in the White Sox lineup. He's brought out to protect the nine run lead. Tim Anderson is the batter. One strike count. Sadler with a 263 ERA on the season. Working. Here's the pitch. There's a grounder to third. Bryant has it. Throws to first, and that is out number one. Danny Mendick now is the batter. One out, nobody on. One strike count, Sadler working. Popped up on the infield. The shortstop Bogarts has it, and that is out number two. So Moncada comes up, two outs. White Sox down to their final out of the ball game. Sadler facing him with a two and one count. Here is the pitch. There's a grounder to the third. Bryant dives, he makes the play. He throws to first, but he throws it away. Man, Bryant threw that one from his knees over to first base, and he tossed it all the way down into the dugout. So Santana 
No, Bryant is credited with the error on the throw. Moncada goes to second on the error, and now Abreu is the batter. One strike count, Sadler, with a pickoff throw to second, and that goes into center field. Wow. The runner is, Moncada is going to advance to third. The Cubs defense is having a tough time here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And Abreu now waiting for the one and two pitch from Sadler. And there is strike three called, and the game is over. I guess they should have just focused on striking him out and not worried so much about that pickoff play. But regardless, the Cubs got 11 runs on 21 hits and two errors to the White Sox, two runs on eight hits and no errors. The Cubs improved to 45 and 47, while the White Sox dropped to 51 and 41. The player of the game is the Cubs' Jackie Bradley Jr. In today's game... He went three for four, scored three times, drove in three runs, drew a walk. The Cubs also had home runs from Contreras, Bradley, Bogarts, and Hayward in this game. So Quintana improves to eight and six. He went five and two thirds, eight hit, two runs, two walks, and two strikeouts in the game. Kubat drops to three and two. In three and a third innings, he allowed 10 hits, five runs, four strikeouts, and two homers in this game. Well, thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.